so this is going to be an example of implicit differentiation. Uh, and actually, there's two different ways to do this problem. This is a problem I came up, uh, came across rather, uh, working with one of our students here. So uh, the question is, find dy dx. And uh, the problem is cosine of x is e to the y. Um, and we're going to do this problem two different ways. So I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this over. And the first way that we're going to do it is just do straight implicit differentiation as it is. And we'll do implicit by taking the derivative of both sides exactly as they lay. And any time that we take uh, an implicit uh, differentiation, whenever we take the derivative of a y function, we should always uh, append the dy dx. It's basically a chain rule. So we now need to isolate the dy dx. So I'm going to divide both sides by e to the y. And all we get is dy dx is negative sine of x over e to the y. Now, a lot of the time when we do an implicit diff problem, we actually can just leave it uh, in terms of um, x and y. But in this case, we actually have uh, an easy way to simplify this. If you note, we actually know exactly what e to the y equals. So we can go ahead and substitute in the cosine of x for e to the y. So that would leave us with dy dx is negative sine x over cos x, which would be negative tan x. And that would be our final answer. Now, if you're looking at that, you may wonder if there's an easier way to do it since this is just such a simple derivative. Well, there is. What we can do is if we recall that uh, we can always get an exponent um, out of, uh, well, excuse me, a variable out of an exponent. by uh, taking a log or a natural log of that term. So if I take the ln of the right side of this equation, now going back to our basic principles of algebra, that means I have to take it of this side as well. Um, I get ln of e to the y, and we should remember that ln of e to the x is just x. So the ln of e to the y is just y. So what we have is y is the ln of cos of x, and now we can just take the derivative without having to do an implicit diff. dy dx, or y prime, is 1 over the cosine of x from the derivative of ln times, remember there's a chain rule here, negative sine of x. And we end up with the same exact solution. If you find this helpful, uh, check out some of our other videos. Uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, feel free to email us with any questions you may want us to answer in video form.